Well, we think we are in the midst of an explosion in innovation, which I, mm. I know Michael knows all about. Mm. And uh, we believe there are five major innovation platforms evolving right now at the same time. Mm. We've never had this before. Mm. You have to go back to the early 1900s, uh, telephone, electricity, automobile. Today we have uh, genomic sequencing, robotics, energy storage, artificial intelligence, and blockchain technology. Mm. And we believe they are going to converge, actually. So we don't have individual technologies doing one S-curve at a time. Sure. We've mm. got S-curves feeding S-curves. ARK Invest founder, chief investment officer, and chief executive Kathy Wood believes 2023 is a crucial year for all categories of investors. According to the renowned American hedge fund manager, the world is currently in the midst of a major explosion in innovation that involves not one but five innovation platforms taking off simultaneously. Wood believes the massive explosion we are about to have in robotics, genomic sequencing, energy storage, artificial intelligence, and blockchain technology will see the platforms gain billions of dollars in market cap by 2030. Wood adds that investors who want to be a part of that growth need to be involved now before everything takes off. According to her, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for all categories of investors, old and new, to develop generational wealth. In fact, Wood believes younger and less experienced investors have the upper hand since they are more familiar with and receptive to technological innovations. Wood, known for her unwavering bet on disruptive technologies, also warns about the danger in everyone running toward benchmark stocks. She explains that there is so much money chasing only a few opportunities while everyone seems to be ignoring the juicy opportunities in disruptive innovations. Before we listen to Kathy Wood's recent interview with Framework Leadership, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. Also, ensure you drop your comments and observations as it helps with the YouTube algorithm to get the video to more viewers. Thanks and enjoy. So we don't have individual technologies doing one S-curve at a time. Sure. We've got S-curves feeding S-curves, just wow. to give you a, yeah. an example of yeah. that. Autonomous taxi platforms. Mm. Uh, that's the convergence of three of those platforms. Robotics, autonomous vehicles are robots. Mm -hmm. Energy storage, they will be electric. And artificial intelligence, mm. they'll be powered by AI. Now that industry or that particular platform accounts for basically zero revenue today. Wow. By the year 2030, we think it will be a nine to ten trillion dollar wow. revenue generating opportunity. Mm. So what we usually say is uh, get on the right side of change yeah. because mm. these platforms and they involve 14 different technologies. They are all uh, they're all creating exponential growth trajectories. Mm. They're going to be transformative, but they're going to be very disruptive to the traditional world order. Innovation is the great leveler. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. the most seasoned experts are all new experts in any particular mm -hmm. uh, topic mm -hmm. historically are all new to these yeah. innovation platforms. So it really gives young people a wonderful opportunity to get on the right side of change and move up very quickly. quickly. This next stage, mm. which is autonomous, this is the next big call yeah. here. Um, I think we're getting close to, to full self-driving. Mm -hmm. uh, the software updates uh, that we've enjoyed recently are making remarkable improvements. And this is what we've learned from artificial intelligence. Um, projects, AI projects, that we thought were going to take 10 years to complete, uh, we're completing in one to two years now. Oh, wow. The advances wow. and the speed of advancement in mm. AI is unbelievable. And in fact, as we're trying to size all of the opportunities associated with these five platforms, right now they are priced in the global equity markets at roughly seven to eight trillion dollars. Mm. So less than 10% of the global equity market cap. To, uh, if we're right, and a plug for our, our mm -hmm. big ideas 2022, you can see yeah. the building blocks of this, that seven to eight trillion is going to scale by 2030 to 210 trillion. Wow. So that's up to a 30 fold right. increase. Yeah. And that number actually, because of what's happening with AI, mm -hmm. is probably going higher. We right. were just talking about this in a research meeting yesterday. The seeds for what is happening today and the reason mm -hmm. these growth trajectories are going to be so explosive 
the seeds for all of this were planted in the 20 years mm -hmm. that ended in the tech and telecom bubble. Right. Back then, too much capital chasing too few opportunities too soon. The technologies weren't ready mm. or they were way too costly. Right. Uh, so here we are 20, 25 plus years later, we've been germinating these technologies, AI, deep learning, the mm -hmm. big breakthrough in 2012, right. before that cloud computing, 2006 yeah. with AWS. So these technologies did not exist right. back then. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've been germinating these technologies and now we're ready for explosive mm -hmm. growth. What's so interesting from an investor point of view I just told you, too much capital chasing too mm -hmm. few opportunities. Yeah, yeah. They were falling all over each right. other wow. uh, to, to make sure that their tech weightings were higher than the next guys and the indexes. Right. So they should have been pulling back, right? Mm -hmm. Today, they should be rushing in. Yeah. And instead, they're heading for the hills, which yeah. means they're benchmarks. And yeah. in the context of uh, Southeastern, I have described benchmark-style investing, or at least the you know, whole allegiance to it yeah. as, you know, worshiping an idol. It's yeah, really become sure. an idol yeah. in our industry. And and it's a, a very bad idol because mm -hmm. the traditional world order, which it represents, is what I've just mentioned, right. we believe will be, gone, uh, gone, if yeah. not disrupted, mm -hmm. then destroyed. How can young people actually prepare to be on the right side of that? What do they need to do with their finances, young families, young professionals? How can they be aligning, preparing themselves now for that coming change? Yeah, I think they, um, well, well, what I would do is make sure I uh, do the research mm -hmm. um, and I'll put a little plug in for ours since mm. we give all of our research away. It's right. on arc-invest.com and, uh, and there you will find um, how to get on the right side of change or at least where to go. go. Mm -hmm. sure. Now, yeah. uh, and so I think what it will require longer term is a, a multidisciplinary mm -hmm. education, yeah, and uh, and because because of these convergences, so I would certainly think uh, about that. Um, but in terms of the traditional world, I would really take a hard look at how it's going to be disrupted and make mm -hmm. sure that either uh, you're an agent of change for your company in this new mm -hmm. world and you're with a company who will or that will change mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to a company tried and true, we've always done it this way, uh, uh, our way or mm -hmm. the highway. Right. So just, just make sure. And, you know, again, I always say um, – Make your boss look brilliant is the best strategy yeah. longer term. And many younger people coming into the workforce now know so much more about technologies yeah. in their everyday lives than their bosses. Uh, so I think it's actually going to be easier to make an impact as a young person today yeah. uh, than it might have been 10 years ago because the technologies are changing so quickly and uh, and and the younger people entering the world for, workforce today are more digitally native, and right, everything's right. the digital and the mm -hmm. physical are converging. Yeah. Let us know what you think about Kathy Wood's interview in the comments section below. Meanwhile, the star stock picker bought more Tesla shares on Tuesday, according to reports from Bloomberg. During the first trading session of the year after Tesla recorded its biggest plunge since September 2020, ARK Invest purchased over 176,000 shares of the electric vehicle maker. Many investors are abandoning Tesla shares, which plunged by 12% after the automaker missed estimates for another quarterly delivery. However, Wood is reaffirming her conviction in the company, its eccentric billionaire chief executive Elon Musk and the three innovation platforms that form the basis of the automaker's work. Since October 3, ARK Invest ETFs have purchased over 938,000 Tesla shares. After Tuesday's performance, Tesla shares rose by 2.2% on Wednesday, before the resumption of regular trading and an additional 0.5% during trading hours. What are your thoughts on Kathy Wood's stock buying spree despite the poor performance of her ETFs in 2022? Do you think her bets will pay off in the long run? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Also, ensure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.